1843, hell yeah. And that is the 1200th kill. Uh, I'm going to find out in a second here how many solos we've done. Because I think we are around 400. For sure. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my fucking god. I just got the maze. Oh my fucking god. The, the most desirable item. Oh my god, dude. I just got the best item, in my opinion, for, for the Iron Man. Oh my god, dude. Holy crap, bro. I, I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. Damn, getting these next two drops, man, it's gonna be insane. The next two drops is gonna be so much easier. Because now I can actually kick this guy's ass so much faster, dude. I cannot wait to test out the, the mace, yo, on, on these solos, man. Holy shit, I cannot wait to put this mace to the test, dude. No more having to use the scythe. I'm sure y'all are uh, interested to see what this new bad boy can do. If y'all haven't seen all those like demo videos already on YouTube before. But yeah, look at this thing here. Look at this thing. 154 strength. 172 crush. Oh well, with a skirt, you know, otherwise it's 160. But disgusting. This is literally the best crush weapon in the entire game. The only thing that can rival it is basically the scythe on crush in certain situations. But okay, anyways. The biggest competitor directly though is the bludgeon. Because that's second best. Look at that. Oh my god, dude. That's a... Uh, what are we looking at? 21 crush difference. That's, that's nasty. That that itself, like that accuracy, if Scourge saved me like 20 seconds, I just gained 20 accuracy more. That's gonna save me like 40 seconds right there, just just with that extra accuracy increase. And of course the damage one is too. 142 versus 154. Uh, so that's 12 strength points. That's like three max hits. Alright, so this is my max hit is 50. Uh, and now my max hit should be... 53. Okay, so we do have three more maxes. My solo times are gonna go down like crazy. I'm gonna be smashing these PBs like crazily. It's just gonna get destroyed. 17, 13, bro. That's gonna be a thing of the past once I start using this at Nightmare. Okay, so yeah, my, my setup's gonna change a bit. So yeah, uh, instead I have an extra space now, so I can actually bring an angle with me, which is nice. Because I can just uh, eat up right before the start of every phase. Oh, you know what's great? Now, so... I had to switch from Scythe to Bludgeon for Parasites, but now I don't have to switch at all. <laughs> Boom! What a kill with the maze. Feels good, man. Dude, this is insane. I just killed my first Parasite at 1300 HP. I've never done that before. Almost 400 solos with a Bludgeon. And the scythe, I've never dealt this much damage before my first parasite. Holy crap. On the last video, I bought 100k blood runes. So I can use it for a nightmare. But now, with the maze, I won't be using the blood runes anywhere near as much. Because I effectively half the blood runes that I use now because of the maze. I only use the blood runes for the same staff now. I think I used to use about 300 blood runes with the scythe per solo. Just for one phase. So these 100k blood runes are going to last way longer than I anticipated. If anybody's wondering what's best DPS gear for Nightmares, it's this right here, dude. Until the buff comes through and then you replace the face guard with the helmet, probably. Don't dark hole. You better not dark hole. You better not dark hole. Oh, yes. That was, a, that was the best dodge I've ever done. Hold on, let me get this kill. It's super fast. Oh, it's super fast. Oh, ho, ho, PB already. I already beat my time. This is a personal best. 1701. Are you kidding me, bro? It could have been sub 17. Damn, bro. Like on my, I don't know, 10th kill or something. Or yeah, honestly, like my 10th kill with the maze. <laughs> Holy shit. 1701. Holy crap. Already beat my PB by like 12 seconds. So before everyone questions my block list, uh, this is what I have because I just want to go for pet hunting. So my block list is kind of weird because yeah, I block stuff that I don't need to do because I, I want to go for pets and not XP. But I will be unblocking Hellhounds and cow fights just for your viewing pleasure because I will be testing out the mace at Kelfight Queen and Cerberus. But I will probably reblock some other stuff though eventually. 
I'll show you guys just what this maze is capable of in the places that you're supposed to be using it at. Yes, let's go, hellhounds! Frick yeah, bro! Alright, so uh, I'm gonna go with this setup here. I haven't done Serb in a long time, so we're gonna have to refine a lot, but... I like the Guppins method, you know, I uh, tried it out first on Huan Man, but just gonna heal on like the first 200 HP, honestly. The main goal is just to figure out how many kills I can do in hours, so... So the Inquisitor Mace is the overall best crush weapon in the game, so it's really really good if not basically the best outside of the Scythe against things like Cerberus, Nightmare, Tecton, and Kelpha Queen, and probably a few other things. So in terms of stats, it boasts a very high 95 crush accuracy and 89 strength. So its stats are pretty much identical to something like a Garazi Rapier. Except it's crush instead of stab and also the blade of sound door, which is slash They all share the same max hits pretty much just for different styles So different niches of uses Oh my god, no way second kill bro. I got jar of souls <laughs> Oh 60 bro mm -mm. Oh, Pagasian Crystal! <laughs> With this mace, I've noticed once in a while I can completely skip all the ghosts and just lose zero prayer from them. It's that crazy. Alright, so I pretty much did about an hour and I got 40 kills! And that's without Spectral, no ults, no nothing, obviously, because I'm an Iron Man. So it's just pure raw mace DPS for the most part. Oh, I died. No! Oh, god dang it. Well, it was a good trip anyways, dude. It was a good trip. I managed to get uh, 20 kills before I had to go. So, yeah, we, we started at 40 today, so it's fine. Yeah, this is the last kill for sure. Actually, can I risk it? Yeah, 20 kills this trip. Nah, I'm just gonna leave. Holy shit, dude. First try. I got an easy clue. Wow. Yeah, I'm thinking this left click though. You don't even have to use uh, the menu re-entry thing anymore. Master from Serbi. Hey, all right, we just finished our Serb task, and uh, what is the verdict for the mace? It is freaking amazing, dude. 100% certified, bro. Uh, let me show you the XP per hour here. Throughout these few hours, we're averaging about. 20k Slayer XP an hour, so that is about 40 to 41 kills an hour. The only other weapon that's going to outspeed the mighty Inquisitor Maze is going to be the Scythe of Vitzer. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna find. Oh, frick. oh my God! So in order to avoid having to add the math every time I check my slow kills, I'm just gonna get 150 big bones from anywhere. Oh shit! Nice Diagnos. Hell yeah. I'm pretty excited for this DAG task because I'm gonna try out uh, the Guardian Boots, you know, the... I think this is probably the single best place to use the Guardian Boots, dude. About to start the DK task I got a few days ago. Originally was gonna test the Guardian Boots, but I also got the Mace. So the advantage of the Mace is uh, the Prayer Bonus. The Mace actually gives two Prayer Bonus. And offensively, it will work the same as the Rapier, but yeah, the Prayer Bonus is nice. But yeah, the Guardian Boots though, look at that, 20, what we got here, yeah, that's 24 range bonus, it's gonna be so nice. But yeah. Oh, what? Berserker Ring, holy shit. Damn, that's sick, I already got a Berserker Ring. So if you guys didn't know, the Spine Ellipse has three different attacks. A range attack, a magic attack, and a prayer draining uh, attack. And they're all based on your range defense, so the higher your range defense, the less likely they'll do any of those hits. So, uh, therefore, more likely to smash. And yeah, the Guardian Blitz is amazing because I'm near 400 defense and I'm noticing that I am taking a lot less damage than usual. I barely take damage usually, but even less now, noticeably. And also my prayer is draining even slower than it usually is, so that's amazing. For the task we made... Nice, 7 mil task. Good stuff. Oh, speaking of Armadale, I just got an Armadale task. Hell yeah.
So if you guys use F keys, I hope you all are using F keys, but whichever F key you have for your equipment, while you're in your bank, you can press the F key and it'll go to your equipment tab. You see that? Bro? So cool. I just randomly like accidentally discovered that yesterday. Holy shit, an 80 claw spec? That's like near a max right there. Oh, 500 Slayer points for 1900 tasks. Thank you, Conor. All right, come on, give me this freaking Kelfi Queen task already. So I depleted my first ever in front of Axe, which meant I gained 875,000 fire making speed because I did it all at Redwoods. And yeah, I still have uh, 60 Dragon Axes. It took me forever to use up one, so yeah, I'm never going to be able to use up all the Dragon Axes. So, I've been looking for this Calfrey Queen task, and uh, no luck at the moment. I've spent over a thousand points just skipping and whatever. I need to chill down on that, because I want to conserve some points, but... Right now, one of these tasks that I have to do still is Drake's, because um, it drops the Drake's Tooth, which makes the Deval Boots. Best in slot prayer boots. I just finished the best in slot tank boots recently, so I might as well try to finish it as well. We're uh, currently over a thousand kills, so 2x drive. The really good thing about this task is that it's super AFK with the cannon. I pretty much have permanent aggro with the entire task. Yo, this change is awesome. These wyverns used to attack you from all across the map in Narnia, but now I can just stay in this area, this two spawns. Oh, oh what the fuck? <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, oh, I know now, I know. I actually got two from Wyverns, three from Vorkath, and one from KVD. That's what it was. So besides the back-to-back -back from Vorkath, I also got another one uh, before, some time ago. Wow, I have gotten six visages. What? That's insane. I'll do it while I still feel energetic. Well, I still have some energy. Time to run north. When shit hits the fan, run north. Feels good. Yes. <laughs> Scrub, I got you, Lord, mate. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. I tanked the Zuck hit, though, man. Freaking sucks. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, number 17 on here. Hell yeah. There we go. Give me the pet, bro. All right, dude. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. I'm assuming you did because you made it to the end. But yeah, it would help out a lot in promoting this video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye-bye.